place in British culture is looking increasingly under threat, with church attendance numbers in constant decline. Now, meanwhile, the country's second largest religion, Islam, is growing faster than ever, with some studies suggesting it's on the way to becoming the dominant faith. Artis Polly Boyko has the story. Half of Brits say they're Christians, but you wouldn't know it glancing at this London service. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. New figures show that the UK's official religion is declining faster than was previously thought. Worshippers are aging, and for the first time ever, fewer than half under the age of 25 describe themselves as Christian. The decline of churches in the UK is long term. It just happens to be now approaching really rock bottom. So 95% of people don't attend a church on an average Sunday. While the Church of England struggles, the Office for National Statistics says that the number of Muslims in England and Wales has surged by 75%. And they're young. Half of British Muslims are under the age of 25. I'm looking at the swathes of men uh, in the hall down, down below. What is it that draws them here? That's the big question. Motivation theory is very, very different for different people. Islam's family values are very well bonded, and uh, families really try to nurture young people in the, in the fold of Islam. We have more than 50% congregation from the young people because um, we try to deal with the young people's issues, so they feel part of the mosque uh, establishment. Religious think tank the Pew Forum estimates that if present trends continue, the Muslim population of the UK will swell to almost double within 20 years, totaling 5.5 million. According to these figures, it means that by 2030, Britain will have more Muslims than Kuwait. It's projects such as this community-based Muslim radio station that could provide the clue as to why the religion is flourishing in the UK. In that booth, DJs who call themselves brothers and sisters talk about local issues and education from the point of view of Islam. Inspire started out as a special transmission during the holy month of Ramadan. It became so popular that it was established as a permanent radio station. It's actually uh, a lot of pressure on the husband or anything. It comes with an Islamic ethos that we won't do anything which is deemed non-Islamic on air. Hence, the, uh, the music element one may question about the fact that of, the, uh, of the music that we play on the radio station. We won't have your mainstream music playing on there because the majority of it isn't deemed uh, Islamic. We wouldn't advertise anything uh, un-Islamic in the sense that we wouldn't have any adverts for alcohol. We won't have any adverts uh, for, say, for example, gambling, all those kind of things. According to academics, it's the obedience that Islam demands from its followers that's made it more appealing to worshippers and converts from other religions. Islam says no. This is not a full stop. Um, people find a sense of direction in it. Because their religion of origin has lost that, not because that he didn't have it in the first instance. They sort of became lenient in relation to the laws uh, of the church, and uh, thinking that in this way they would make it more mellow and softer and attract more people into the church. And in fact, they've lost people. Something that the Church of England disagrees with. They claim that the death of Christian England has been greatly exaggerated and that the statistics don't reflect the true faith of the population. And yet there are demographers that say that if current trends continue, Islam could eclipse Christianity as the dominant religion in the UK in as little as 10 years' time. Polly Boyko, RT, London.